It feels so crazy saying this, but we're at the final four episodes of season three of Bungo. And with Bungo season four being announced, I am eagerly anticipating that season. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Bungo Stray Dog Season 3, Episode 9. This one's called Cannibalism Part 1. This is going to be a three-part episode thing, which makes me very excited. It seems like it's going to be the climax of Season 3. Cannot wait. We ended off in a very crazy spot with the Port Mafia and the ADA literally staring off right for tensions are so high. You can cut it with a butter knife. I'm just something's gonna happen we got fukuzawa and mori both plagued with a disease that only gets relieved or gets you know what i'm trying to say by killing the other person like it's like what are we gonna do i don't want any of our ada or port mafia to kill each other that's one of the issues with liking the villains so much <laughs> is that you don't want any of them to die but i wouldn't be surprised if something happened i hope nothing happens but i would not be surprised so I am super excited. I said we hop into this. Also, real quick, I'm going to be testing a new format for you guys. I am going to be testing some new editing styles, maybe. I know one of the things I'm going to be trying is putting both the both reactions in the same video. So if you guys are seeing this right now, I think this is going to be the first one I test that out on. So it's going to be both episodes in this video and then a review at the end of both of them. So it's, I, I just wanted to let you guys know in case you're not looking for the other video, not knowing that they're both in here. Just to let you guys know. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for early access and full length of this show and all the other shows I'm watching. Don't forget to follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Let's hop into this. Bungo Stray Dog Season 3, Episode 9, Cannibalism, Part 1. Let's do this. Is it all light snow? That's so smart. Tanizaki's the only one actually there. Talk about the ADA getting the jump on him. Smart. Like I said, I don't want anything to happen to both sides of this conflict, so I like this. It's a viable strategy. I didn't even know they had a gifted prison. That's super cool. Yeah. Yes, that and Fukuzawa and Mori. We have a lot of lives on the line with finding this guy. Is that him? The virus maker? What do they say his name is? Pushkin? And that's Fyodor letting him know they're here to get out of there. Trap door. Let's follow him to the best of our ability. You can indeed. Let's half transform. Yup. If my man didn't have a. Oh. Oh. Okay, they might have the worst aim I've ever seen in my life, but hey, they're kids. I can't blame them. Tear gas. Hey. Yeah. That's not like some anti-riot equipment right there. If that's not stopping kids, I don't know what is. Oh my god, one of them said, fuck the smoke, literally. I'm about to blast your ass. Don't tell me Kunikita had to shoot her. He did. No option for failure. And I know he feels horrible about having to do that because they are children. I would also feel horrible. But you truthfully have to do what you have to do. And that's the girl who's just... And now she has Gurn... I don't like what is up with bungo stray dogs and the use of kids for fucked up means 
Like I literally witnessed last season an entire van full of kids explode and die. And now we have this? Are you serious? Yeah, background music being lovely. With the purple hue, I'm assuming this is Fyodor. It is Fyodor. Wow, from the OVA! I wasn't expecting to see him ever again. Oh, with the fucking way this whole room is laid out in the shot, it looks so good. I like how he says that after he was the one who tested his ideals and stuff like that. I love that. Of course he prematurely said that to the girl, to have her be worrisome of his power. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you dare... With the climax of him playing the cello at that. Oh my god. Fyodor is something else, man. This is fucking horrific. I'm so sick of watching kids die. Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> Especially when it comes to Kudikita and his ideals, this show loves fucking with him. So it wasn't Push. It is Pushkin, but that's not him. They were just using him as a decoy. The promised time. Definitely seems that way. Oh. The number one weakness that Tanizaki has. I love the way they made his face look like that when they when they talked about Naomi. Like that's Tanizaki's true it, he, Yeah, oh, okay. Okay, okay. He had a page of Dopo Poet ready in his sleeve so Kunikita could feel it. Oh, power. And then like activate it. Oh. And then he oh, I didn't even know that was a thing that other people could use double poet pages if he like what that is so smart and by the time you shoot him or make a move he's already had light snow activated so you have no idea where he's at and he's already gone i know <laughs> tanizaki's so badass he's fucking awesome Is to kill Mori. Talk about it. Talk about terrifyingly suited for assassination. I wonder. There's no way he's going to actually do it, though. I'm so curious. Oh, this is Fukuzawa, your tiger kitty. So they wanted to keep him safe, so they brought him to Anne's chamber. That's so smart. That's Octagua that has to be. There's nothing that's red like that. Oh, it's Koyo? Kyoka? Demon Snow is here? Not what I was expecting at all. The boss did say that. He said, keep stability and peace no matter what. No, why did Fyodor break his cello? Yeah, what is his goal? Obviously, we know to get that book, rewrite humanity. Damn it, man. Virus symptoms begin in 17 hours. Oh, 
I can't lie, that was kind of a badass line. A path that the Mafia is accustomed to taking. Alright. I agree with Rampo. I can't knock you if you don't want to come with us, especially after everything you've seen. But we do need you. Mmm, that's true. We could get an update from him. We haven't talked to him since the whole episode where he's chasing after G <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that Rampo? Talking to Chuya? Ooh, he knows that's gonna push his buttons. He knows it. Look at it. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> oh, Kunikita's here too. He has a fake wall that he hides, sneaks in, or anything like that. So, someone might have kidnapped him, and if they did, he would have it recorded. Oh, and it's Fyodor. Oh! He straight up killed Katai! Guy, he Gucci. It's been a long time, girl. How you been? We got Kyoka using her methods to get in, sneak in. That's either Koyo or Octagua. Last time I said it was Octagua, it was Koyo. I had a feeling it's Koyo this time again, but it could be Octagua. <laughs> Every time I think it gets backwards for me, bro. <laughs> Every time. It's Poe's power. That's gotta be Poe's power, right? The same thing that he used to trap him in that book. Black Cat in the Rue Morgue, whatever it was called. Yeah, that's Poe. Like, shouts out to Poe. You have been. But. Good. You wrote a good story. I didn't even know she could do that with Demon Snow. Shouts out Demon Snow. Shouts out to the practice we've been getting with her. Don't just leave it like that. I need to know how that ended. Is this uh, Kaji, the lemon bomber? Yes, it is. It's about time him and Yosa know how to rematch. Did she end up stabbing him? I'm curious. No, it didn't look like she made it. He used his armor. Yeah, that's actually pretty smart. Hmm. He was looking for anything that could cut Demon Snow. Wow. With Desai, yup. Oh. 
I, I think he's sincere with that because he genuinely sees himself in her. I thought she would say Arigato before she left. Yeah, you guys got to get out quick. See, that gets me nervous, but also excited. He had to go meet Fukuzawa. I'm very curious when he said an old friend. Twelve hours. Yep, Mori's here, Fukuzawa's here. Ten years since we fought together. Vita Sexualis. His power, Elise, is gonna come out, start going ham. And it's gonna be Fukuzawa versus Elise. All I can say is I'm thoroughly enjoying this arc and this part, the cannibalism part in this little series. But one thing I love about this show and especially this arc, I have no idea how this could end. Like even from when it started up until now, I would have never guessed this is where it would have came. And from here till the end, I have no idea how it's gonna go. Like one, Fukuzawa and Mori being old alliances, being old ally members, and then turning against each other right here for their perspective, for the respective organizations and the things they care about is so symbolic and I, I, I thoroughly enjoy that. But I don't know, man, it's just all coming to a head. You know, we had episode nine at the beginning with Tanizaki's, I love Light Snow and how many times it not only gets the Port Mafia members and it fools everyone in the show, but it fools me every time. I'm always like, damn, Tani's out. no, don't do it to Tani's. And then boom, he gets out of there. So he was light snowing everyone to be there like they were facing off, but they were secretly sneaking the president out of there. Super smart. But they were thinking of a way in which they can avoid, still have the ceasefire and solve this issue. So they went to go get the creator of the ability, which the gifted member, which Fyodor, who is so smart, thought of everything they would think of, plus 10 more steps beyond that. And so he had a fake person with that ability staged in the slum area where that, and then, oh my God, that was so horrible. Not only was he fake and staged, but he had his siblings, or I guess just other kids of the slum who consider, like who called him their brother. I don't even, I don't know if he was actually their brother, but they laid their lives on the line to save him, which kids would totally do that. Kids are so easily manipulated and, and feel like they're doing such a good thing. You know, and they just have no idea that, especially with how that related to Kunikita's issues and why he wanted to not go at the, it's like, I feel him completely. How many more innocent people are going to die? This little girl died for damn near no reason. And it's horribly sad. I feel him so much, so much, but I think one of the only characters who's been getting a good amount of love and support these episodes is goddamn Kyoka. Like Koyo still obviously cares about her. I love the smidge of respect that she got from Octagua. Like, hey, you look different. He sees himself in her so much. Both of them have the exact same eyes when they joined the Port Mafia. They both grown as characters and people to not want this one dimensional thing and to become 3D characters and have desires, goals, issues. Like they've grown both immensely and he can see that in her. So he respects that. I respect him for that. I like that. I am super 
in true i love the way rampo who like chuya said isn't really a fighter i love the way he was able to get chuya out of the situation because he would drastically lower the chances of us winning and doing anything because he's so op but i love how we had a book from poe and we were able to push <laughs> chuya's buttons by talking about design and stuff and force him to get into the book and solve that story which we know in the story there's no powers there's no nothing it's just like you're playing out that story as it goes and poe is a master when it comes to that so i'm excited i'm also so butthurt katai is dead not that i thoroughly enjoyed the character or anything but i liked him i liked what he i like he's an ex-member he has certain little quirks about him he seemed like a cool dude and fyodor just blasted him that's crazy but i i'm so curious how this is gonna end man i'm so curious how this is gonna end we have vita sexualis with um uh, elise and mori versus octagua or not octagua fukuzawa and his sword skill and his martial arts i don't think his gift will play any factor into him fighting at all because his gift helps empower the gifts of anyone in the ada like i'm that's his gift right if i remember correctly so that's why he didn't say like more was like vita sexualis and fukuzawa wasn't like swordy sword dualis you know like he didn't have like his thing ready but i'm so i'm so curious how that fight's gonna go the next episode is called cannibalism part three and then we have the last episode called echo echo i'm so excited i'm so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know what you thought down in the comments below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel if you don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes you want to watch them now or you want to watch the full length versions of any of them check out that patreon all of those are available for you guys we are four episodes ahead don't forget to drink some water be safe out there tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad i will catch you in this next bunch of episodes peace